Guardians, let's break down Icefall Mantle because Season of the Wish is next week and Stasis is going to be on the table. Let me get something out of the way first. You'll hear some content creators tell you Rally Barricade makes a difference. I'm here to tell you no. Glacial Guard replaces your barricade and it's always going to match Tyrant Barricade, which means you're always going to have a 41 second cooldown at base no matter what, as long as you're tier 10. Let's just do a quick breakdown build wise. There's some required fragments that I suggest and two aspects really to just take advantage of. For aspects, you're going to run Tectonic Harvest so that when you shatter a crystal you get shards. And then you're also going to run Diamond Lance for the three extra fragment slots. As far as shards, the ones that I say are probably going to be required, in my opinion. Shards, chains, conduction. Bunch of resilience, some intellect, some recovery. I say change for the curve because you should be making a lot of crystals. And when you're standing next to crystal, you're going to get some resists on top of the shield that Glacial Guard gives you. As far as the other two, it really is up to you. Personally, I recommend Whisper of Rending and then probably Whisper of Fissures. Because uh, as you can see, we're going to run a Glacier Grenade. So your Glacier Grenades, it'll explode a little bit more. And your primary, if you're using a primary... Will do more damage to the crystals. If you are gonna run double special, I would say maybe don't run Whisper of Rending and run Whisper of Rhyme instead. Whisper of Rhyme gives you overshield for picking up station shards. That did get nerfed, it's still pretty useful. As far as what actually happens on cast with Glacier Guard, uh, it's done by activating your class ability hold circle or whatever your class ability button is and you'll see that the icon is a little bit different it's not a barricade it's a little circle but when you cast it a few things happen you get shielded for 20 seconds you get stasis weapon times four for 10 but it does refresh as long as you're killing other things so it's probably the easiest of the times four weapon buff exotics that the titans have to uh, and then you also get some slow in a 7 meter radius nearby. Now, when you're shielded, you got to be careful because the shielded buff doesn't let you sprint, doesn't let you double jump or lift, and doesn't let you slide. Uh, the other thing you have to remember is you can't regain class ability while you're shielded, and taking damage refreshes that buff. So you have to be mindful of that because if you think, oh, it's about to run out, I can jump to get to something, and you get touched, you're hosed in midair. The other thing you also uh, need to understand is the class ability activation, because you'll see once you activate it, it turns back on really quickly. It will deactivate. Now, uh, as far as getting your class ability back quicker, utility kickstart is certainly an option. Not my preferred option, but it's there. Preferably for me, I would probably go Reaper Powerful Attraction. Your other slot is really up to you. If you do plan on using Utility Kickstart, highly recommend using a weapon with Headstone and then having Elemental Charge on your legs just so you can take advantage of the basic shards you're going to generate from Shattered Crystals. The other way to help get your class ability back faster, Bolstering Detonation can definitely help mitigate your cooldown time. I recommend running two on the arms since grenade damage is going to give you flat 25% of your class ability back. Uh, doesn't have to kill, just damage. What you have to understand though is once you proc it once, you have to wait seven seconds before bolstering detonation can be used again. There is an internal cooldown timer. A lot of people may not realize that. As far as weapons go, there are a plethora of weapons you can use. I'm going to just rattle through some here real quick. Uh, any stasis rocket launcher with choke clip or even the new one from the new dungeon called comfort get a bait and switch you know 25 percent plus the 35 percent it's a big damage chunk hypotrochoid is one of my favorite grenade launchers uh, chain of command is a good option some people will say use demo use adaptive trust me uh, fire forget another great option if you don't have reach regret since it's gone now uh, as far as primaries percy's d has hawker breach armament Helps you shatter crystals even better. Then there's also Horror Story. Uh, I got Horror Story from Festival of the Lost this season. Riptide's another classic. Auto Chill Clip is a good one. Unending Tempest, new one. This one is 
really good because it can roll demo headstone. Uh, Wicked Implement is also really good. Benefits off the crystals even more, lets you play from a distance. But you'll see there's going to be two that I use the most in uh, in this video through footage. Number one is Recurrent Impact. It's my favorite heavy on this build for two reasons. One, Field Prep lets you carry a ridiculous amount of ammunition. Um, I also run Frenzy just for the maximum, ha the maximum handling and reload speed because I'm running Extended Mag. Now, there's a few different ways you can run this weapon. You can do Subsistence Headstone. You can do Field Prep Headstone. You can do Subsistence Frenzy. Um, if you go Field Prep Headstone, you can go with Flared Magwell. Uh, there's just a bunch of different ways you can do it. But the main thing is that with Recurrent Impact, you get Land Tank. So as you're chaining kills, once you get up to three, you're also increasing your Resilience and Damage Resist on top of your Glacial Guard Shield and your Tier 10 Resilience to begin with. It makes you extremely tanky in endgame uh, situations. I use this build a lot when getting my Conqueror's title this season with a bunch of my teammates. And it was always just, I'm on ad clear. And because Recurrent shoots so fast, you can get your land tank up pretty quickly. And if you need to burn down a boss or, you know, a yellow bar, uh, it's, it's pretty good. Now, it is rapid fire, so it doesn't do the most damage. If you want most damage, go use fire and forget. Or, you know, if you have a reeds, use a reeds. Chain of Command might be a little bit better. Uh, some people may suggest kill him's terminus. I don't have that But if I did I haven't really seen any perks in it that I'd want to really use in a damage situation Maybe killing tally could help um, But yeah, there's definitely no shortage of weapons you can use that are stasis oriented that really just fill into this build because of how easy it is to activate now the other weapon that you will see the most and will be recommended the most by anybody who uses Icefall Pickle, or any stasis build really for that matter, is going to be Egger Scepter. It's the only stasis trace rifle we have. It does take your exotic slot, but it is arguably one of the best stasis weapons in the game. If you have your super meter built, you hold your reload button, it goes into will give form, and your beam just melts and you've seen it get used on a couple bosses in this one especially during the uh that vex event but agers is probably best in slot first stasis built to me uh, you may ask why maybe why didn't i recommend uh, Virgos curve not really a bow guy but um, there could be a case for it with how many crystals it can generate you know, shattering crystals, giving you elemental charge, letting you prop detail like kickstart. It's really up to you. Um, but Agers is going to be the move, especially because the build I like to run is Agers up front, forbearance with chain reaction in the special slot. So you're running double special, and whoever told you double special got nerfed, it did not to the extent that you think it was. Uh, and then recurrent impact on the back end, and I just run heavy ammo finder up front because it's going to give me a lot of heavy ammo, and as I'm using heavy, because I only have two specials and no primary, it's going to generate special ammo pretty quickly, too, so you're never really going to run out, despite what you may think. Um, other than that, I'm going to be gone until the beginning of Season of the Wish, which is going to be next Tuesday. Yeah. Good luck. You guys will get there before I do.